Hello, my darling doves. Pardon me if I sound a little off. My throat kind of hurts a little. So this one I decided to do because I wanted to, and, well, let's see how this goes. This is my vampire audio, and as always, all my stuff is in the descriptions. Enjoy. Do you want to live? Think carefully. This is not something I offer freely. I can make your death quick and painless so you don't feel a thing. Or embrace the moon. Embrace the night. For you might not see the sun for a while. If you wish to embrace this gift, then look to the moon. Very well. Hold still. This one hurt. Let's <sighs> You're awake. How do you feel? Hmm. What am I? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? But the fact of the pale skin and sharp canine. Yes. <laughs> I am a vampire. You chose me to save you. But I need to get some of those falsities out of your head first. Look. Yes, we have reflections. <laughs> Ah, uh, one of the many things Stoker got wrong. Garlic doesn't do anything, it's just really pungent, especially if you're new to the vampirism. It smells awful. Uh, holy water doesn't do anything. It's like dousing a cat in water. And crosses, same thing. Silver, eh, stings a little. But when you're like this, when you're new, you're very weak and susceptible to silver and holy water, but not so much so that it'll kill you. A stake through the heart, I mean, who wouldn't that kill? <laughs> Stoker got many things wrong. Hmm? I'm Avalon, and you are? Pleasure. Do you have any questions? I'm assuming you probably have many, but considering I probably answered a lot of them. What questions do you have left? Ah, uh, yes. That. Well. There are many different types of vampires. I'm just the first to be born a vampire. Mm-hmm. There are the born and the changed, which is you. The first ever vampire to be changed was my father. You should know him. He goes by the name of Dracula. Mm -hmm. I'm his daughter. Future queen to the vampires. Hmm? Hmm? We're in my chateau. It's kind of a really big house. There's like nine bedrooms. I told my father I did not need that many. I swear. I didn't need any servants. I can take care of myself. And But my father, he says, you are a princess. You must be treated like such. 
There's no point in arguing with him. Never is. Are you thirsty? Does your throat hurt? Hmm. You need to feed? Come. Drink from me. It's nice that you still have some humanity. But you must feed. You won't hurt me. I'm a lot older than I look. How old am I? <laughs> What age am I stuck at? Or how many centuries old am I? Which one are you asking about? Ah. Uh, I turned 25 in 1520, so I've been this way for 1500 years. So I've been this way for 500 years. <laughs> yes. And you are now stuck permanently at 26. It can be a blessing or a curse. Depends on which way you want to look at it. Now come. Drink. And let's gain your strength. It is very potent, isn't it? Good. What else is t fake? Well, I do have a coffin. But I also have a bed. I sleep in either. Yes, the coffin is a real thing. It's kind of a thing. It's just a place to rest. You've been seriously injured. I got you one. With the dirt from where you died. That's what you have to do. The day you die and are reborn. The dirt is infused with your blood. With your essence, so... I got it and put it in your coffin. It's in your room. Yes, your room. Would you like to see? Come with me. Yes, <laughs> I'm all by myself. <sighs> I just didn't prefer the servants. I'm not spoiled. I like doing things on my own. Father didn't understand, but he respected my decision. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is something, at least. <sighs> this is your room. Mine's just down the hall. Through that uh, burgundy door there. If you ever need anything. Would you like a door? Would you like to rest? The windows are really tinted, and the curtains are heavy, so the sunlight doesn't bother you. That is a thing, yes. Especially when you're a new-blooded vampire. After a while, it stops being painful and just starts becoming irritating, and then you just get used to it. Yes, come. Let me show you around. And in a few nights, perhaps on the full moon, we'll go hunting. There are some deer and rabbits and bear and cougars in these mountains. Yes, mountains. We're in the Rockies. Colorado. A lot of people know I'm up here. A lot of people don't. But people know who I am. There's only a few that know what I am. A few of them are friends. 
And Helsing, of course, knows. Hmm? Yes. Helsing. Van Helsing. He's real, or rather, his great, 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 great granddaughter knows we're real. We're in a sort of a peace treaty with the Helsings. My father helps him hunt down ghouls. Ghouls are like vampires, but they're not true Nosavateros, but children of the night. Some can only be changed if they're a virgin. Don't ask me how I knew, I just know things. Hmm. Yes. Gifts? Yes, you have many. We will explore them when we're hunting. And while you're here, as long as you want to be here, I'm not forcing you to stay. You can come and go as you please, or just up and leave. If you want to go to your family, that's fine. Not the way it works for me. But I would prefer if you'd stay a little longer, get your bloodlust under control. From what I see, you do already have a pretty good grip on it, but just to be safe. What is your question? I sense it. Why did I save you? Now that is an interesting question. Because I saw something in you. And because you're my blood singer. In basic terms, you're my soulmate. You still don't have to stay just because of that. I'm not going to force you. What is that? Mm. It means, in human terms, my soulmate. I'm not forcing you to stay. You don't have to stay. You can go find your own way in the world and I won't stop you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. astounding even you're more than welcome to stay and in three days and in a few days That is all for today, my darling doves. Be prepared for the next series, The Hunt. Thank you, and like, share, and subscribe. As always, ta-ta for now, my doves.